that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. understand that these moves the second I grab his arm it's over I'm never gonna be able to get it so if I'm here and I'm looking into those big brown eyes <laughs> and I'm, I'm a, I, a black belt will not get his a white belt's arm if I just start to grab it the trick is to make him look over there in order for me to get his arm that's why I tell you guys when you guys are here here is not gonna, he may push my chest, he may not. He might start pushing my knees, start pushing my knees. But when I start doing this, see, he wants to, there's no way he wants my chest on his face. Push my knees, right? You're pushing his knees. Yeah, he's working on getting out, then I do this. Now go. Go, 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 go. So I'm going off the movement in a smooth way. I didn't muscle it, did you see me muscle it? Did you see me use strength, did you see me use speed? No, because the setup is what caused it. What's another one? This is so simple, it's crazy. <laughs> Push his head. I'll start bugging the neck. Let me do this. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> right? Lots of ways to do it. Look, hand in the neck. Uh, 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 uh. See what I'm saying? So what? Why is why is it so easy? Why is it so easy, Rob? Why is it so easy for me to get it? Because I'm finding what you want it. What if you don't defend? Don't defend. Don't defend. Don't defend. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> he has to respect. I am attacking in a way or setting him up in a way where respect is required. Don't respect, don't respect, don't respect. He's gonna get choked. So what is he gonna do? What I am looking to achieve on all of these arm locks is I need to get this elbow to come up. If the elbow's down, I'm gonna run into it and I won't be able to come around the corner. So how can I grab it? How can I use the force, whether I do something like that or I start to do this, or I start to push his head, or I just have to push his face. Whatever it takes to get him to react, to reach, I go. I can do it with the, the hand of the collar as well. I put a hand in the collar. And what, remember, the second hand is the one that's gonna kill you. It's not the first one, so what do you wanna do with this hand? Yeah, don't you wanna touch it? Don't you want it? This is so juvenile. Don't you want it? Don't you wanna block it? Block it, strong, strong, strong block. Now that we're connected, it helps easy. Once I put weight on the arm, go. You feel how I put weight on the mm -hmm. arm? I make it heavy. For connection. Why? Because I'm going after his neck. I get him so, if he doesn't block this arm, boom, I'm on his neck. Right? If I'm in, boom, I'm on his neck, it's over. Or I shoot under, or I shoot over. Right? With the choke. So because of my aggressive nature, he's going to start blocking my arm. And then what's going to happen is he's going to start to block it strong. Yeah. And then, poof. So whether it's with the cross, what if he doesn't block it? Boom, gone. What if he doesn't block it? Gone. What if he doesn't block it? I just force, I start bugging his neck. Start bugging his neck. Anything that distracts him. See, the second I do this, look at the elbow. Swoop. It gives me the free shot. Now the other arm goes, switch, and take the arm. If there's no setup, now you're just, who's stronger, who's faster? There has to be a sense of finesse. There's only so many things that you can do. Arm locks, wrist locks. There's only so many submissions you can do. The trick, the magic, the force is the setup. The force, what I call the force, is the setup. How can I use the force? How can I use the setup? Or what setup can I choose that will allow me to create an opportunity or create a behavior 
with the opponent to make them do whatever. So if somebody's just shutting down, I just start bugging the neck. Are the elbows gonna come up? Is he gonna start to push my chest? Is he gonna start to turn on the side? I don't know. But I understand the options that are available. And I just, I'm cool with whatever happens. Whatever happens, I'm cool with. Sometimes the guy will just push your chest. Low hanging fruit, that's easy. If he's very, being very defensive, you have to create the smoke screen. Poof, I throw a smoke screen over there, you look over there, boom, I jump on your back. If you try, it's the same thing in wrestling. If you just try to grab somebody's legs, they're gonna block you. You have to set them up, you tap the head, then you shoot. You faint, then you shoot. You fake one, then you go to the other. You have to do something to help you cover the ground that you need to cover to create the angle or, or get to where you need to get to. Does that make sense? It's incredibly important that if you're using strength, you're doing it wrong. If you feel like, man, this is so physical, you're doing it wrong, think, completely throw it away. That's the difference between Grandmaster Elio's Jiu Jitsu and everybody else's. Everybody else's, because you couldn't do it. He's too small. He's too small. He could not power through. Of course, if you could overwhelm somebody, overwhelm them. Great, that's fantastic. That's great. But there's, the, that is not what this R was created for. This R was created for the smaller guy to be able to neutralize, not even defeat, neutralize and stay safe against the larger, heavier opponent. That's the idea. So if a smaller guy, if you can't do it on a guy that's 100 pounds bigger than you, then it's not gonna work. Everything must be done with timing, leverage, finesse, right? Energy efficiency, street applicability. All of these things have to be, if you're not training it in that way, I mean, you're not doing jujitsu. You're doing something else. You're doing, I don't know what you're doing. Catch, catch wrestling, or I don't, I don't understand catch wrestling philosophy, so I don't know. But as a wrestler coming in, understanding wrestling, that to me, that was the wrestler way. Coach, my double leg didn't work. Do it harder. <laughs> Coach, the single leg, I just wasn't able to drive through and get the takedown. Drive harder. That's not it. That's not what this is about because driving harder might not be an option. I'm Coach, I'm driving as hard as I can. It's not working. So there has to be some sort of a technical tweak or something that happens in order to make things work. If you understand how to create behavior, you are far along the Sith path. <laughs> You're way along the Sith path. If you can make people do what they don't want to do using the force, you are way along. You're, you're along the journey. Philosophy, concepts. Learn the concepts, not the moves. That's the idea. If you understand the concept of connection or understand the concept of how to make the guy look over here, that is what we're doing. Because ultimately when you're sparring, it's a moment by moment, decision by decision, opponent by opponent situation. Not every opponent is gonna fall for the same setup. So you got to have multiple setups, right? You have to be comfortable with everything, where you are. Flow with the go, right? That's it. Move a little bit closer.